Hoops Hype, if you guys know what Hoop, Hoops Hype is, um, they released their top 15 point guards of all time. Now, I know that Gio is a massive Westbrook sexual, so, you know, you can only imagine where he's where he's on it. Now, I'll ask you first, Gio, before we reveal these rankings, where do you think Russell Westbrook places all time, and who do you have between Magic Johnson and Steph Curry? Between them? Yeah, who's a higher between Magic oh. Johnson and Steph Curry, and then where do you think Russ falls? How, is this list, like, how recent is this list? It's all time. This literally just happened. Like Oh, so they just put it out. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to say they're going to have, even though I don't agree, they, I think they move Steph to number one. I'm saying where do you have them? I have Magic at number one. Okay. And, and I have Steph have, at number two. Where do you have Russ on your all-time list? Russ. All-time point guard. I would say Oscar is number three. And so that being said, I'm going to have to put Russ. I say Russ is top five. Okay. Russ is a top five Russ point top guard five. all time. But – I know this list is not going to do that because they're really just such haters, and that's, yeah. Okay. So Well, I can confirm Russell Westbrook did make this list. Mm-hmm. Well, he so. better. Top 15? <laughs> like, oh, my God. Yeah. I, I, I personally would have Russ around, like, maybe six, seven as far as point guards goes. Okay. Where would you have him, like, Russ all time? I also have Magic above Steph, personally. I think there's, a, I think there's a still a gap as far as just players in general goes between Magic and Steph. Where would you have him, Antoine? Top whatever. Could be anything. I think a like. little below five. Okay. Six. So kind of around yeah. the same as me. So It's fair. Um, do you want me to go just all 15 at once? you want me to go five, five, and five? Let's start with top five. You want me to do 40, the, no. We got to reveal from the bottom 15, up. 15, bottom up. Okay. 15 to up. 10 and then 10 to six and then yeah. five to one. Okay. Yeah. Or 15 to 11. So in, at number 15 is Nate Tiny Archibald. Oh, wow. Okay. Number I don't know how good he was, but he's a Hall of Famer. Yeah. That's true, yeah. He's a solid point guard. And number 14 is going to be Walt Frazier. Wow. So Antoine's probably happy about that one. Walt Frazier. I don't know who's yeah. better. Let's see. At number 13. You no, know he's a Nick, right? Yes. Okay. Yeah, I was going to say. <laughs> yeah. At number 13 is Dame Dalla. Wow, Dame. Fair yeah. enough. That's, kind of, that, that's really low. There's no way he should be above Walt Frazier, though. No, but that's, that's really low. Frazier has Dame. two championships, and right. he was the best player on those teams. Right. So there's no way Dame should be above, but it's okay. Okay. Um, Antoine, what I want you to do right now, have your headphones like this. Just trust me. Have your headphones like this. Both of them. Just hold them out. Hold on. Yeah. Put, put the pencil down. Bro, there's no way they have Russ right here, bro. Put put the things there. Viewers at home, this, please. Uh, headphone warning. At number 12 is Russell Westbrook. I'm in pure disgust. Wow. <laughs> pure and utter disgust right now. I can, who's I ha- who's I, better? I, I, well, there's I, no way there's 12 players, point guards better. The, I think the, the argument for Russ being that low is that he wasn't, I think outside of his prime has been very lacking and i'm not that's not me personally i think he should go higher but you got to think all a lot of these guys were kind of in their primes for longer that's false russ russ's prime i'll tell you right now russ's prime started in 2000 i want to say 2010 right he started averaging above 20 points right but you don't think the you don't think the the fall off afterwards should dock him lower his his prime his prime was about like 12 years but his peak I'm, peak was yeah. probably like four or five That's years. That's what I'm talking about. But afterwards, I'm talking about like 2020 up till now. No, 2020... It- I'm in talking 2022, about, that's when he fell off. Yeah, I'm talking big about time. I'm talking about the past few years. That has to dock him a little bit, in my opinion. Why? Because I value longevity and consistency. If you're not consistent, so let me great, ask you: if, if Russell career. Westbrook retired after the season with, let's say, the Wizards or the Rockets, yeah, is he higher on the list? Yeah. Why? Because I think I think there's when you keep playing, like when we talked about it earlier, like Joe Joe Harris decided to retire now rather than continuing to play at this low level that he's that's not what he's at his best. So I think if Russ now Russ is Russ is taking a different role. So I give him credit for that. But that's why I can't put Russ in like my top three or four point guards of all time. That's why he fell back to like six for me. That doesn't make any sense. So you can't. So you're not allowed to play a different role when not, you're out of your prime. I'm not you, saying you're no allowed to jump and run. And, I'm not and saying you're allowed to shoot play as well as you could have before. I'm not saying you're allowed to play a different role, but I'm just saying that. So you're saying playing a different role that you didn't play in your prime that docks you? No, I'm just saying that's the argument for lowering him. That's a terrible argument. Not you. I'm not talking to you. I'm talking to those people out there that, <laughs> yeah. that think that. 
Okay. But well, it also it, I mean sick. it also doesn't help that he doesn't have a ring. That's probably also why. Well, he yeah, won. but most of the players ahead of him don't have a ring either. Well, yeah, we're about to find out. Yeah. So and number and closing out the uh, top bottom five of the top fifteen, number eleven is Gary Payton. Oh my god! Oh. Give me a break, bro. Okay. Give me yeah. a break. All right. I think I personally think Dame and Russ should both be higher. I Holy. agree. Oh my God. Yeah. Gary Payton? Yeah. I agree. <laughs> okay, let's go. Gary let's Payton next. Senior. All right. 10 through 6. At number 10, got Nets legend Jason Kidd. No. At number 9 is Bob Cousy. No. Yes. Num- Bob Cousy? Bob is great. Stop. <laughs> at number eight, at number eight is Steve Nash. No. At number seven is John Stockton. Okay. Yeah. John Stockton, Stockton I should understand. be above. Yes. yes. And at number six is CP0. <laughs> CP3, Chris yeah. Paul, Christopher Emmanuel Paul. <laughs> how, wait, how is Chris Paul not better than Russ in his prime? Oh my God, bro! <laughs> did you not watch him on the Clippers? How is? Did you not Russ? Did you not watch Russ on the Thunder? I did, but Chris. Did Paul you not on see the Russ Clippers? Cook? Did you not see Russ cook Chris Paul every single time they matched up against each other? I'm not sure. I'm not sure if these people watched the NBA. <laughs> Do they watch basketball in the 2010s? If I'm being honest, I think Chris and Rush should be near each other, not Holy that far crap. away. There's no way Chris Paul is better. He's not even on his level. He's not even close. Chris we're Paul hasn't won a championship. We're talking prime. It does, bro, Chris Paul's prime was not that good. Let me Russ's look, peak let is me far look. better than Chris Paul's peak. Anyone, talk to me right now if you think Chris Paul's peak was better than Russell look, Westbrook's peak. To me. Because that is insane. To me, there's only two things that Chris Paul does significantly better than Russell Westbrook, and that's passing and shooting. Aside from that, Russ clears in every do, single Do you want to come? I wouldn't even say passing. Shooting, sure, you can give Chris Paul oh, shooting, he's but he's not even shooter. a great shooter you, himself. Do you want to come? He's a good shooter, but he's not even a great shooter. So that's not something that completely <laughs> separates Chris Paul. You, you want to? Passing, on the other hand, they both are semi equal. Chris Paul, I'll give, you, I'll give him the edge. Yeah. He's more of a floor general type. Right, hey, yeah. but passing, they're both right here. Well, yeah, they're both. He wrestles a triple. You want to, you want to compare resumes? No, resume is not really going to do much because well, Chris Paul sucks in the playoffs. Well, twelve time All Star. Period. Chris Paul is twelve time All Star. Russ is nine. Chris Paul is five time assist and six time steal champion and eleven time All NBA, yeah. nine time All Defensive. That's BS. That is crazy. <laughs> Chris Paul is nine time All Defense. Nine time is all right, nuts. We're done here. Russ is nine time All NBA. He has an MVP. Chris Paul does exactly right. He uh, also Chris is, Paul has an All Star MVP. His peak. He's also the all time leader in triple doubles. Yeah, for now. Yes, for now. He'll be yes. two in like a year. Come but on, bro. Yes, that's crazy. But unbelievable. Okay, I, what, what I else? think we can. He's we, number six. Yeah, I that's think insanity. We, I think we can agree at least three of the. I think three or four of the top five we can agree is above Russ. Yes. So I say f- Russ is better than Stockton, actually. I take, back, I take that back. Okay. Keep going. Russ is not. At number least. five is Isaiah Thomas. Not the small one. The right. The father. Yeah. Thomas I, has two finals. I and think, he has finals MVP. I'll let that slide. I think that Isaiah Thomas is so underrated. So as far underrated. As all time yeah. goes. Yes. He's so slept on. At number four, the now late, great Jerry West. No. The logo. I'm sorry. Yes. That's I don't think Jerry he's West the, is better. He's the only one in the top five that I would put below Russ. I agree. As far as that goes. No way. Jer- it's just because he's the logo. Right. It shouldn't be that the high. Top three, are, uh, top three to me are significantly better than Russell Westbrook. Go for it. Uh, number three is Oscar Robertson. I wouldn't say significantly. I would say he's, I, I think there's I a say gap. he's better. I think there's a gap, but he's definitely better. And why is the gap? Why is there a gap? I can't think right exactly. now. Exactly. <laughs> bro, bro literally has triple doubles. That was, that was what he was known for. Russ yeah. passed him. The only thing that separates them is a championship. Yeah. That's it. But he played with Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. Of course you're going to win a chip. <laughs> That's true. Russ also played with Kevin Durant, so Kareem. Hello, he's top three all time. KD's <laughs> maybe like, maybe I'm top j- fifteen. I'm just trolling you, bro. Okay. <laughs> at number two is Steph Curry. Fair. And at number one, where he belongs, Irvin Magic Johnson. Yeah. Those two guys, I'm completely fine putting. That us. to me is a significant gap between Russell Westbrook and them. Absolutely. I think they're both comfortably ahead. I know you thought Russ was better than Steph for a while. Yeah. But hey, hey, back in like 2016, 17, yes. Yeah. I still think there's a gap between Steph and Magic. I, don't, I wouldn't say there's a gap. I think there's a gap. I, I think it's Because on like my all-time list, I have at least like six players in between the two. Okay. So that's kind of my own opinion. But obviously, as far as point guards go, it's only them two up top. I just think it's utter insanity that Gary Payton, <laughs> Jason Kidd, Steve Nash, 
Chris Paul. Who else? John, uh, even John, John Stockton, Stockton, bro. They had they had Gary Payton, Jason Kidd. Yeah, that's utter insanity and just hatred. Yeah, haters. Okay, is what it is. Can we move on before yeah. I get pissed? 